Want to make a million dollars? I'm going to show you how GameStop and Calculus could make you a millionaire. If there's two things I love in life, it's Calculus and GameStop stock. So my wallet's feeling a little bit light. It's time to make some money. Let's see what we can do. With Calculus, it allows you to find the rate of change of a graph at any point. And we're gonna use this to look at GameStop's graph and invest a thousand euro at the best time. Let's see what we can do. So let's imagine this is GameStop's graph, its price over the course of a day. We want to find its minimum point so we can invest a thousand euro in, and then we can sell it later on when it gets to some tasty highs. So, Let's take a look at the function here and see how we can get the minimum point. Step one is to get the slope. If you differentiate an equation, you get the equation for its slope. And then if we put that equal to zero, that will give us the minimum point. Because if you think about it, when we have the equation for the slope, it's not negative, so it's not going down. It's not positive, so it's not going right up. It's equal to zero, so it's right at the bottom. So we haven't started going up, we're not still coming down, we're right at the bottom. And that's going to be the minimum point. So let's differentiate this function here and see where the minimum point is. So our function for GameStop's price is 3x squared minus 18x plus 30. If we differentiate that, we get f dash of x, and then 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6x, and then drop the power by 1, so it's no longer a squared, it's just 1. 6x. Minus 18x, there's just an x there, so we can drop that, and we'll be left with minus 18. And plus 30, it doesn't have an x, so we can just cut it out. So then the equation for GameStop slope is going to be 6x minus 18. Now, as I said, that's the equation for the slope. So if we put that equal to 0, we can find the minimum point. So let's do that here. 6x minus 18 equal to 0. Now let's solve out for x. Bring the minus 18 over to the other side, and we're going to have 6x is equal to 18. And then divide under by the 6, and we're going to be left with x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3, then, is the x-coordinate of our minimum point on the graph. So right here, you can see we start open at 12 p.m. So we're going to get the minimum point right around 3 p.m. Let's try and figure out what the price actually was at that time. And we can do that by subbing our x value of 3 into GameStop's function. Don't sub it into the slope equation. That's important. Entirely different. We want to know the price at 3 p.m. So sub in 3 instead of x into its function. So we're going to have 3 times 3 squared minus 18 times 3 plus 30. And we want to figure out what that is. You can just pop that into your calculator. When you do that, you'll see that GameStop's price at 3 p.m. was 3 euro. So let's think we invest 1,000 euro in at 3 p.m. then. Now let's find out how much money we would have made at 5 p.m. So let's figure out what GameStop's price was at 5 p.m. So we're going to do the exact same thing, just subbing 5 into GameStop's function instead of 3 this time. So at 5 p.m., it's going to be 3 times 5 squared minus 18 times 5 plus 30. Once again, straight into the calculator, and that's going to come out as 15. So GameStop's price at 5 p.m. was 15 euro. You can see it went from 3 euro to 15 euro. It increased by five times. So if we invested 1,000 euro into GameStop at 3 p.m., at 5 p.m., we'd have 5,000 euro. So step three is that we go into Vegas, baby. So it's <laughs> that's calculus right there. <laughs> that's calculus made easy with GameStop.